So we just finished our arm workout with uh, James. He's gonna turn the tables now, like he's got a great set of abs, so I wanted him to put me through an arm session. So uh, I'm excited and uh, willing to give it a go, so let's see what he's got in store. Okay, Chris, ab yeah. workout. We're gonna start off with a decline bench overhead barbell sit up, okay? Okay. Start off with an unloaded bar, just for a warm up set. Just wearing the shoulder width grip. Yeah. Sit up, hip flexors are being brought into it, but yeah. it is also your core. On the way down, I'm just doing a negative crunch. crunch. Okay. Right, okay. The bar is literally moving up a dead straight line. Yeah. So what is the advantage of having a bar there just as extra resistance and it's, it's extra resistance, and you need more core stability to support it. Right. Because okay. normally you'd have a weight into your direct. Direct. Yeah. And there's not much wobbling around. You take the weight away from your body. Yeah. Long reliever. Makes it a little bit harder. Okay. Okay. Right. You want me to go straight into yep. this now? Go straight into a warm up set. It's 10 to 15 reps, and then we'll stick a couple of plates on. Sit right up and rotate the shoulders. That's it. Right, well, uh, I was the last of the three to be uh, put through our workouts. Um, and on behalf of the grenade team and the boys who had just been slaughtered, uh, tables were turned and I was able to put Chris through an abs workout. Um, we started with decline overhead barbell bench sit ups. Uh, on a decline bench with a barbell, sitting up, allowing the shoulders to go through rotation to the bar is directly above the head and then controlling the negative phase. Uh, we started off with a warm-up set empty bar and then put a few plates on for two more sets. Okay for all the sets we're going to do our working rest. This is going to lead to, I was going to say, this is a warm-up set, you have to weight on it. Look at it. Oh, it's for all the sets today we'll do it as working rest. So you rest, I work. Okay, all right, yeah. Take the weight off here if you want. <laughs> no, that's okay. I find it really hard, I don't know why. Having the legs down it seems to be really much more direct with the feet down. Okay, so it's 50 feet for a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Because I think when your legs are up. Have you ever done these? <laughs> How many reps? I was aiming for 12, but I lost count. <laughs> We're for 12. Okay. That's good. That's it. That's it, keep that good rotation through the shoulders as you're sitting up. Rotating that bar around. That's good, keep going. I'll well, ask you now, so we Last set, just took a little bit more weight on. It's six. Yeah, it's easy. 
Nice and strong. The overhead sit ups, it was a completely new exercise for Chris. Uh, when most of us do an abs workout, you'll feel the pump isolating in your ab muscles. Um, it's all of your abdominals around the sides. Uh, but with the overhead sit ups, because it's a massive core strength workout as well, you don't get the lactic acid build up, you just reach muscle failure. Um, and on the last set that we were doing, uh, as you're controlling the negative phase down, which is the hardest part of it, uh, second to last rep, Chris just slumped down. And at that point, you know you've reached failure. Uh. Excellent. Uh. Try and control the lowering a little bit more. Uh. Uh. That's good. Uh. Excellent. Is that 12? Any new exercise is going to shock the system and you are going to struggle and find it you know, really, really tough, tough going. Um, but he did really, really well. Yeah, it's, it's funny because like I said, I could feel through the quads, you know, really stretch into quads and contraction. But the strength is just getting depleted from the abs. Yeah. It isn't so much of a pump, but it is just totally, totally it's fatiguing. Totally no yeah, totally failing them. Now because normally if you're doing higher reps, they just burn, burn, burn. Here it's just failure. Okay, next exercise we're going to be doing is windmills. Okay, nice wide grip. Legs will come up, right and over, and down. Okay. Okay, and to make it harder and more challenging and to push you past wanting to give up, I'm going to ask you to stand in front of me. So if there's any danger of me giving up, I'm going to beat you in the head. Alright, you better not give up. I particularly want to be doing that, so it's going to push me. The second exercise we did was on a pull up bar, uh, windmills. Uh, made it a little bit more challenging by getting Chris to stand in front of me for my reps. Uh, the aim of the game is just to keep my legs going up in a nice circular motion around over his head. Uh, once I reached failure, I would have taken his head off. Um, so I stopped just before failure, which is good. Uh, we were working on a working rest system. So as soon as I came off the bar, Chris was up there working while he was working. That was my rest. Um, and we just kept swapping that through throughout the whole workout. A man of reps. It's a failure. I know that I'm going to be kicking you in the head yeah. soon, so I'll have a rest now. Okay. You want me to stand there or should I see no, you do No, no, I first? wouldn't recommend you stand <laughs> there. Like the high and leg the raises I normally do, if I ever do them, is normally on the slings like that yeah. because I find that the grip just goes. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess if you keep doing it, eventually your grip will yeah. strengthen up. Okay. Also, by hanging as well, you're working more. You're bleeding. Yeah. Okay. So legs straight, so legs straight as, as straight as possible. That's oh. it. Straight as possible, as high as possible. But again, it was a brand new exercise to him. He's not used to putting his body through through that motion. So it was um, it was good and challenging. That's good. Oh. Go. Oh. If your grip goes before your abs, come off, oh. shake it, and get back up. Yeah. He's a lot, lot heavier. He's carrying a lot more muscle mass than me. Uh, so power to weight ratio, um, I might have a slight advantage over him. Um, but again, it's just the fact that I've done these exercises before. Uh, but for the bigger guys to get your legs up and around in a controlled manner, um, it can be quite challenging at first. Oh, shit. That's good. Still working on the working rest, so you'll rest in the morning. <laughs> okay, you want me to stand there again or you go? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay. 
That was a good 10 reps. <laughs> So, nice height, nice big circles. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh. Full walk, huh? No, my biceps. Everything else. My biceps, and I find that I, I probably don't have the flexibility in my legs either, I, as yeah, well yeah. to get them up, you know? Yeah. So it's definitely something I need to work on. And I'm so used to grabbing hold of every bar with straps. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, it's just putting a lot of strain on my forearms, which obviously this is my weakest link that I need to yeah. work on. So th these are two, this and the exercise before, things I'm definitely gonna work mm. on because it's exposing weaknesses now, which is good. Okay, next exercise we've got is back on the pull-up bar again, toes to bar. Yeah. Okay. Either grab a wide grip, as you did before, or a narrow grip, doesn't really matter. All you're going to be doing is lifting your feet up, toes touching the bar. Yeah. It's easier to obviously bring your knees in nice and tight and kick up. Okay. If you've got more strength, keep your legs straight. Okay. <clears throat> you got it? Okay. All right. Again, two, two sets to failure. Yeah. Third exercise we did was toes to bar, grabbing onto a pull-up bar, just raising your feet up till your toes touch the bar, and then lowering your feet in a controlled manner. Uh, started off keeping our legs quite close to the body to make it sort of that much more easier. Uh, but as the sets went on, challenged him a little bit further, asked him to straighten his legs a bit more, and that just increased the lever length and made an extra bit of weight uh, challenge his core, which he definitely felt. Uh, we did two sets to failure of that. Um, and again, new exercise for him, but he <laughs> he did really well. It looked like he'd done it before almost. That's good. Nice done, Chris. Nice. That's really so, good. Can you feel that as well? Oh, yeah. 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 Happy yeah. Wraps. Yeah. That puts an awful lot of strain to fill up and build up. If you just relax your foot and trust on the weight to hold you, okay. and trust that it will. Right. <laughs> okay, last exercise on the bar. You're hanging upside down using some gravity hooks, gravity boots or ankle hooks. Get up onto the bar, you're going to effectively do a toes to bar and hold your feet in, okay? Yeah. Once in, hang, okay? Yeah. Just let your ankles relax, don't bother tr trying to flex them up. And from there, you're just going to do very slow crunches, okay? Yeah. If you start cheating yourself up, you'll start swinging loads, okay? So yeah. try and control it and use the bar if you need to. Okay, the fourth exercise, we introduced uh, some equipment uh, called gravity boots, uh, little ankle clips that clip around your feet. And they've got a metal hook on them and it allows you to hang upside down off a bar. Uh, from that, we did upside down uh, crunches for the first set. Um, slightly more challenging than on the floor or on a decline bench, just because you've got to control your body from swinging um, and you're also working fully against gravity. I'll, I'll give it a go myself first, and if I do, yeah. To get you off, Chris, actually, we just get your hands then back to the bar, just hold the bar, then a hook and face this, then you've got a hold of the bar. I'll see how I go. I'll see how I go. Okay. So it's far, you know you can do it. Eight, two, hook. Yeah, hook on. Okay. And. Oh, that feels hard. Okay, it does. Draw that. So we're out of feet. 
Yeah. Completely relax, relaxed. Relax, feet relaxed and fleet. Feet. Yeah. Boots to take it. Got Okay. Draw the core in. Yeah. And then just crunch. That's it. A nice and steady crunch just so you don't swing. It's hard not to swing. It is. <laughs> if you're too swinging too much, just stick your arm out and grab hold of the frame. I want Chris to get up there. Uh, I'll squeeze him up. Let's get up. Go. Squeeze. Uh, uh, Okay. Yeah, crunch. Oh. Ready? Yeah, yep, I got it. Uh, yeah, okay. Nice. Oh. Look, look to the head. Oh. Yeah, because of the blood rushing to the head, probably wouldn't do this for more than a minute. Yeah. Keep it 30 seconds to a minute long. Yeah. And if you're squeezing out, say 10 reps, two seconds up, two seconds down, it'll take about the time roughly. Okay, one yeah. more set. Let's do it. Start you changing things up. Adding a weight plate into it. I needed that. Okay. <laughs> and easy, it? Instead of just crunching, what we're going to be doing is reaching to the side, to the front, and then the other side. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be putting side crunches in, as well as a normal crunch. Okay. okay. Stop swinging. Crunch. second set was we picked up a five kilogram plate and we were alternating between a front crunch and a side crunch just to work a bit more of your obliques um, and then as we reached failure on crunching we can no longer crunch we just did a static isometric hold where we held the weight out arms length nice right angle position hanging it upside down core drawn in nice strong back and it really really does challenge the whole of your core Hold. Just that. Can you feel that in your abs, do that? Abs. Got to really keep your lower back strong as well, because otherwise you'll collapse like that. Okay, so you keep your abs drawn in. Feel all there. If you want to feel adventurous, Put some rotational twists. You can actually add a rotational twist in as well. Uh, just challenges your stability, core muscles, just that little bit further. Um, I think we managed about two or three reps each. That really stretches. Absolutely. So if the bars weren't there, I was hanging the other way, I would put more twists in. Get more of okay, wide range of movement. Nice, relax the feet. Just hang. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to do this with or without the weight plate. So, a little bunch to the front. Crunch to the side, back to the front, and then to the other side. If you want to keep on doing this and not go straight to the hold, you can just drop the weight. It's effectively doing that. Squeeze them out. Keep going. As soon as you can't crunch any longer, hold the weight out. Safety issue to be considered with the gravity boots. Uh, you will be hanging upside down for possibly up towards a minute. Uh, so all the blood will be rushing towards your head. Uh, if you've got high blood pressure, probably wouldn't recommend this exercise. Um, I'd also recommend always having a spotter or a training partner or someone to hand. So once you reach failure on the crunches, uh, they can actually give you a hand up to hang back onto the bar so you can unhook your feet. I'm really done very slowly lower the weight. Awesome. Oh man. Wow. 
Oh, that's tough. Like the thought of twisted yeah. is a little bit scary as well. Yeah. You're, you're, you're consciously, consciously thinking of the weight going into one foot and the other one unhooking. It won't. <laughs> no, I know it won't, but it plays mind tricks with you. That's okay. I don't like heights. That's no, right. <laughs> For Chris, final exercise of the day, I always finish with these as planks. Okay, you're gonna hit a front plank and then side planks. Okay, on both your sides. Great for core stability as well as core strength. Okay, okay. So you're gonna adopt position as such on your elbows. I'm sure you know this, but just run through it with the camera. On your elbows, draw the abs in, body nice and straight, all the way from head to toe, and hold, okay, for 30 seconds. Okay. Right. Okay. So don't forget to keep breathing nice and steady. Uh, variations for this, if uh, you are finding it too easy, get ever so slightly rock forwards and backwards. Okay, you can dip up and down through your shoulders. You can lift one leg off the floor. You can lift one leg on one arm. Okay. Depends how adventurous you're feeling, how strong you are. But you're going to skateboard. Okay, 30 seconds. Rock to the side. Straight to one elbow. Push your hips nice and forward. And then lift. That's nice, good. The tendency of the sides is people sort of tend to dip forward. And you keep your body nice and straight. Okay. All the way run through that top shoulder. Lift the hips up slightly nice and strong for the core. Five seconds to go. Okay, all the time, just swap around, other shoulder. Okay, switch. And then switch. You don't forget, push your hips forward and raise your hips up. Keep that core drawn in. Okay, 20 seconds in, 10 to go. So dig deep, just got to run through this one more time and then we're done. All the exercises today um, are incorporating the whole core, the core as a whole as opposed to isolating certain parts of the muscle group. Uh, for Chris being a bodybuilder, um, very, very important to have a perfect set of defined abs and that comes with lifting massive amounts of weight. The more core strength you have, the more weight you will be able to lift and all these exercises today were incorporating core strength as well as you know, the standard crunch move or standard twists. Um, so hopefully it will increase his core strength, which will enable him to lift heavier weights, push himself further when he goes back to what he's uh, used to do. Draw that core right in. To make this harder, guys, if you want to, add some dips into it. Grab a weight plate, rest on your hip. Do dips with the weight plate. You can add some rotational twists into it. Switch. And switch, last 30 seconds. To make it harder still, you can go one foot and then add rotational twists. So that's hard to go. Okay. 10 seconds to go. Yeah. Hips forward and hips up. Big in, last five. Okay, done. Right then, training has finished. Um, all us grenade athletes, despite having been training for a while, have definitely learned something off Chris. And uh, hopefully, being uh, put through one of our workouts, he has learned something from us as well.